Hi, everyone. Is justice delayed? Justice denied? Will Citizen Trump, you know, the felon, be able to walk away and waltz away from all his legal responsibilities free and clear? All thanks to the sweetheart deal that his friends on the Supreme Court gave him with the recent immunity ruling. Well, not so fast. Now, before everyone starts going down that rabbit hole and going crazy and thinking he got away with everything, there's just one thing I want to remind you all. One little thing. You know the expression, it ain't over till the fat lady sings? Well, she's not singing. I'm telling you, she's not singing. It's not something my guides told me. I just know she's not singing. She came by the other night, said hello. We had some chocolate cake. Then she had another piece, then another piece, then another piece. We forgot she's diabetic. Believe me, she's not singing. She's in a coma. So for right now, everyone take a deep breath and relax. In eight over to the fat lady sings and she's not singing anytime soon. All right, okay, people? Oh, by the way, I'm Arthur, here at Arthur Ease Your Mind on YouTube. I'm an intuitive consultant and psychic advisor. And we've got lots of great questions tonight regarding all the stuff that's Trump, Biden, SCOTUS, and everything in between. But before we go there, I just want to say one thing. Do yourself a favor. Just going to cut to the chase. Everyone, stop listening to the polls. Stop listening to the pundits. Stop listening to the doomsayers. Stop listening to all the people that are being paid by MAGA people to say what they're saying. Let's face it. All the news organizations are owned by MAGA people. So, of course, they're going to be talking bad about Biden. Come on. After what this guy did for three and a half years, got this country back on shape, got things going, and then technically one bad debate, they're going to throw him away? I mean, what, if the Eskimos used to just take the old people and put them on an the iceberg and just drift them away? That's what they're going to do? I don't think so. It's a lot smarter than people think. Besides that, it's not a reality show. If that were the case, FDR, he would have lost. A man in a wheelchair? He would have lost. So people, get over yourselves. We're looking at a man who is intelligent. We're looking at a man who is smart. We're looking at a man that knows democracy. We're looking at a man who cares and is empathetic for his fellow man, as opposed to somebody else who only cares about one thing or person, themselves. He's not Trump, okay? So anytime you start hearing something negative about Biden, turn it off. It's called propaganda. Again, propaganda, simple word. Now, I don't want you to think I'm Pollyanna, living in some bubble. But the thing is, every time for the past gazillion years that I've been reading about this, the guides have always told me that Biden's going to win. It's just that he's got a lot of obstacles because of Trump and his cronies. Trump, you know, the man that kind of lies, the man that said, I don't know what Project 2025 is. I think it's it. Yes. Well, if he knew what, if he says he doesn't know what Project 2025 is, then how can he say he's against it if he doesn't know what it is? Come on. I've got a bridge in Brooklyn if you want to buy it. It's on sale. Anyway, so it's just not a reality show. This is real people. And I'm going to get on my soapbox and get a little bit taller and say, vote. We can make this country great. We have to vote and not listen to all the crap that's out there. Okay. Now, lots of great questions that just drove me nuts. Like from Lisi. Thank you, Arthur. The New York Times just reported that Biden is considering stepping out of the race due to the negative gen. No, he's not. We're talking about the New York Times. Next. Algor. 
Amazing Arthur, I'm extremely disappointed in the negative surround negativity surrounding President Biden. I'm hoping this will change soon. We all need to give him a boost. Thanks, love and light. You got it, buddy. Give him a boost. Love and light out there tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow morning. All right? I know, airy fairy time, but do it. We need all the most benevolent outcomes for this man as we can get them. Uh, T Garden Chicken, when will the Dems get behind and support President Biden and quit asking him to step aside? When they wake up. But the thing is, they're fickle. It's like the throwing him under the bus, then he's a hero, then he's thrown under the bus, then he said, Remember in 2020 when man lost Iowa? Everybody said, He's done for. He's old. He's done for. Yeah, well, he became our president. And for the last three and a five years, He's done more than any president in the, at least in my lifetime, to help everyone, the common man, and not make billionaires billionaires, even richer. Okay? So this is a man who has our backs. So why can't we have his? I don't want anybody saying, yeah, but you said this and you said that, but how can I believe you? Then don't watch my channel. Or watch it and know what's going to happen. I'm not God. I only get the notes a couple of days ahead of time. God can do the ultimate rewrite, but there's no rewrites coming down the pack, coming down the pike on this one. All right. Abud asks, "When? What's with the Dems so divided? Still about Biden? Now is the time to be in lockstep more than the Nazis are." Hmm, you're right. We've got to pull together. Now, what I really love is I got a lot of questions about 18 basically saying the same thing. Will President Biden end up using the new SCOTUS presidential immunity against Trump, his cronies, or his followers to save the United States? I don't feel he'll do that. He's a gentleman. It's who he is. He's going to play everything fair and square. I don't see any executive orders being signed. I don't see him being petty and stupid, just like the Orange Menaces. So the thing is, if you've been watching him lately, he's coming out of the gate swinging. Now, the other thing is, like regarding the George Stephanopoulos interview. Well, they gave him the question. Well, Trump always gives the questions before. I was a reporter half the time. Anybody I interviewed, they gave the questions beforehand. Please. So don't try and compare Biden to Trump. Okay? Biden's a decent human being. Trump, that's all I'm going to say. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all, is what mother taught me. I never listened to my mom, but this time I will. She'll hit me from the other side. So, regarding the Trump sentencing and legal issues, look, like Roxanne is asking, the sentencing of the orangutan, orangutan has been postponed for September 8th. Will this happen? What do you see? Then New Year. Hi, Arthur. What will happen now that Judge Mershon has, Mershon has delayed Trump sentencing in New York? Uh, is Trump getting away with this? And then Al Bashan, what is behind the decision to delay Trump sentencing? Will the decision be made before the election? Yes. Things are going to happen, people. The man is going to be sentenced. I feel he, Judge Michon is going to take this time to cross his T's, dot his I's, talk to Alan Bragg, go through everything, and see what this new fangled immunity means. But there are a lot of things that Citizen Trump did when he was Citizen Trump before he became President Trump that is illegal. And they're going to get him on it. Simple as that. Okay? He paid off a porn star. 
So just don't freak out. Hi, author. NBC just responded, reported that 45 filed a motion to overturn conviction based on Scott's ruling. The same, yeah, blah, 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 blah. It's all the same, okay? But this one, Jennifer Johnson, Arthur, did Trump buy off Judge Mershan to, no, stop, stop. Judge Mershan is a judge's judge, please. I understand why we go there. I understand why we see these things, but no. CCC asks, hey, Arthur, you rock. Just another delay. Ele January 11th, Rump sentencing delayed till September. The Rump filed the motion. Can we expect going forward with the new sentencing delay? Thank you, Bo Blue. Well, he's still getting sentenced. And I don't think he's going to like what he hears when he's sentenced. He's not getting a slap on the wrist. He's not going to be able to walk away from everything he's done. You know, the thing is, he was a citizen. No one is above the law. And I feel that is what Alan Bragg is going to drive home very quickly. Now, here's a fun one from Rose and Adana. Rose and Adana. Hey, Arthur, apparently a Trump Tower is being built in Saudi Arabia. Is this... Is that where Trump intends to flee after losing the election? Hmm. What do you think? Do you think this is what he's going to look like? I don't see it. I see him going around River Room, okay? Now, you write me and say, well, so-and-so said this, so-and-so said that. That's nice. This is what Arthur's saying. I don't see him going to Saudi Arabia. Besides that, I don't think he'd like to dress up in the garb. Karen Sh asks, Karen, S-E-H, Karen, she, hi, Arthur. I was wondering if we will soon find out who Trump's handlers are. My opinion is that Trump is the shiny object to keep up distraction while the people around him running are running him set up the stage to rule behind him. Well, yes, that's called Project 2025. That's what the Heritage Club Foundation is doing, club, whatever. That's what the Heritage people are doing. You know, look over here, look at Trump. Oh, look, don't forget that we're going to make him an imperial god and get rid of everything. And uh, we're going to get rid of uh, abortion, we're going to get rid of gay marriage, we're going to get rid of everything, and oh yeah, yeah. why don't they touch, if they're going to go after gay marriage, why don't they go after interracial marriage? Clarence Thomas, just a thought. Anyway, speaking of the Supreme Court, Mary Bradley Black asks, hi Arthur, did some of the Supreme Court justices take bribes from foreign adversaries to make this immunity ruling? Entertainment purposes only. Yes, I'm Elmer Fudd. Entertainment purposes only. Foreign money? Foreign adversaries? I don't think so. I think it was here. Becky Brothers. Love you solos. Thank you. You always help me to laugh. Do you think Congress will pass laws to curb this SCOTUS? Thank you for the answering. Don't worry if you don't get the show out tomorrow. Well, the show's going out when it's going out. So, yay. Thing is, yes, things are going to be taken care of. Whatever these people are ruling in SCOTUS, it's going to be overturned. That's why we have to vote and go blue and vote in mass so nobody can question that it was rigged or there's a steal. There's no steal. Okay? It's not going to be a steal. There may be a faux steal. Republicans will be, you know, putting out there for a while, but 
It's just clickbait. It's just chatter. It's just nonsense. Hello, amazing author. Now that SCOTUS has given immunity to presidents, will President Biden take advantage and start arresting GOP, especially the people behind 2025 project? No. He's not that kind of guy. Barbie P. Hi, author. What does the future hold for the SCOTUS Republicans? Well, there's going to be, you guys are explaining to do is what's going to happen. As we get into the first order of the new term, that's where Sheldon Whitehouse is going to come front and center and start with the show. Forget the popcorn. He's going to be asking certain judges why they voted the way they did, why they lied during their confirmation hearings and said that things were definitely law they would not touch. And then they went around and touched it. Yeah. Talk about pointing to the dolly. Tell us where the man touched you. Um, will the Supreme Court reverse the ruling on immunity when attorneys file lawsuits? I don't know about the attorneys, but there are going to be new Supreme Court justices. Mark my word. Uh, Julianne, well, will the Supreme Court get backlash for what they have done? Yes, yeah, they are. They already are getting it. They showed their true colors, and they're not pretty colors. Believe me, <laughs> their colors is not a rainbow. Um, hi, Arthur. Ease, your, ease my mind. I believe Midas Touch broke the news that Clarence Thomas sent a letter to Judge Cannon giving her the green light to dismiss the documents case. Will DOJ investigate Judge Thomas's unofficial intrusion in the documents case and telling her what to do? Judge Thomas has been coaching Judge Cannon. I think by trying to help Trump, Judge Thomas just might backfire against another judge. How incompetent is Eileen Cannon? Entertainment purposes only. Um, a while back I was doing a show and somebody showed me a picture of Marjorie Taylor Greene on a bundt cake. And under it, it said, shelf, no, elf on a shelf, it rhymes. So I was thinking about this on a bunt cake, Marjorie Taylor Green. Think about it. So the bottom line is how uncommon is Eileen Cannon? She's a bun cake. Okay, she's a bun cake. Not only that, my guide's been saying she's gonna be out. She's going to be out of there. And that, I feel, is around August 20th. So get the popcorn ready. Get the kegs of whatever's needed to blast the cannon. And she'll be out of the picture. Maybe she's doing timeshares in Montana or something. I don't know. But I don't see her following through and being able to be a judge. And stuff is going to come out about her. And I feel, I don't know if they how they get rid of judges. Like, I know they disbar lawyers like Rudy Giuliani. Do they disbar judges? I don't know. Just put in the comments. I do not know. I don't know everything. I really don't. I mean, I tell everybody, you know, <laughs> every village has an idiot. How do they? Uh, it's just the guys that get me smart. So for some political predictions and election stuff. Hi, Arthur. Thanks for keeping us grounded. I just have a comment. I've decided to stop watching any political shows. They are focused on the stupid debate instead of Trump's high crimes. Best to tune them out and send positive energy Biden's way. I couldn't agree with you more. Thank you, Pink Lady D. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So as I've been saying, please send love, light, and all that good stuff to Biden. 
And as far as baggy people, yeah, send them love and light too till they get it right. Like I say. If you think about reincarnation, the MAGA people are the upgrade. <laughs> anyway. Nancy. Hi, Arthur. What do you see when Trump loses the 2024 election? Do we see another crazy insurrection or something else? Sending love, light, peace, and joy. Thanks, Nancy. Well, in honesty, I don't feel there's going to be another January 6th insurrection. Um, little bonfires here and there, maybe, but not like it was. Not like it was. People are going to be like, eh, crybabies and whining. But that's what you would expect. Again, these are not people learning to be critical thinkers, they're just critical if you don't think like they do. So, Arthur, what will the energy of the U.S. during the first six months of 2025 be? Thanks in advance. Well, again, it's going to, there's going to be a transitional period. Trump is going to be going away. He's going to be convicted. He's going to be sentenced. And I don't know, you cut this head of the snake off, it kind of like goes away, doesn't it? I think. So we'll just see. It's not like all of a sudden we all get to sing Kumbaya in the middle of a park. It's going to happen. But it kind of reminds me of the, th the song that FDR used, happy days are here again. Okay? So remember that. And the Makito. Hi, Arthur. Will Biden appoint more judges? And will there be a, sen a Senate investigation into the judges? Was there traceable black money involved? There's a lot of stuff involved here. And as I said earlier, yes, I feel there will be more Supreme Court justices. I've been saying for in the next four years, there'll be 13 Supreme Court justices, one to oversee each of the courts. Because when they voted for nine, we had nine courts. Now we have 13. Number one. Number two, after Sheldon Winehouse does his little thing, I feel some people were going to be resigning as opposed to being impeached and getting in trouble. Okay? So they'll be resigning. So that's going to leave at least two seats open. I've always said I felt Clarence Thomas leaves at the end of October of this year. I've been saying that for the last two years. Let's see if I'm right. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll admit it. But let's see what happens. We're not there yet. It'll be for health reasons, but also because by that time, by the end of the year, his lovely wife is going to be named as one of the unnamed co-conspirators. And so even though stuff is hitting the fan, you can turn off the fan, it's still going to be ugly. Okay. And traceable black money, there's going to be traceable money. Yes. Uh, Shannon Donnelly. What will the energy of the U.S. during the first six months of 2025? Thanks in advance. Basically the same as before. It's, it's oh, it's the same question. I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind. Um, oh my God, you're going to watch my channel anymore? I just did a, you know, made a mistake and I'm an old man now. You're going to stop watching me? Just kidding. Gal O'Brien or Gail O'Brien. Hi, Arthur. I know everyone is predicting a win in the House, Senate, and the presidency for the Democrats. Whew. I know we have a huge, we have to have huge numbers in the Senate to change things. Do you see the numbers of Senate seats and Democrats win? I don't get the exact, thank you. I don't get the exact number, but we win. We have enough. We have enough to do what needs to be done. 
in the House, in the Senate, and in the White House. So, ta-da! So, hey. Google Peace. No, I'm not, that's the name. I'm not saying the Google Peace. Google Peace. Thank you, Arthur. July 4th is our 248th birthday. Can we ask how our 249th year will go for our collective human rights? Well, I'm sure you've heard it from others. We are going through a global shift. We're going through an energetic shift. We're, you know, people that watch these channels are very highly sensitive people, basically empathic. And what happens is when we're going through this planetary shift, we start getting tired. And sometimes you just go lay down. To me, that's a sign that we're downloading stuff for what's about to happen. All right? So we're getting prepped. So I really feel that as we get ready for our next birthday, things are going to be improving. The cockroaches will be around, but they're more under the refrigerator than you can see them, and stuff like that. All right. Now, <laughs> hi, Arthur. Steve Bannon is in jail. Finally. So, my question is will jail change him in any way, or will he just mobilize more radicals, radical, more radicals to his side while in there? Well, while he's in there, he has got, his podcast is still going. He's got someone filling in for him. He's not going to be in there for like infinitum. He's, but I feel he's going to be going back. So maybe he'll learn how to buy a carton of cigarettes and trade off things and blah, 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 blah. And I don't know if this man can learn. I mean... Obviously, he doesn't know how to use a pail of water and soap and to comb his hair. So, why would his morning ablutions are just non existent? So, we'll see. But I don't think he's really going to change, unfortunately. But let's hope I'm wrong. Let's hope he I has. Let's hope Can he. Can you say it again? Sarah just went on. So, I guess the whole thing is with him is. Let's just hope and pray that he has a really good come to Jesus meeting and doesn't like what Jesus has to slay, say, and Jesus bitch slaps him. That'll be fun. That I would put on pay-per-view. Anyway, so that's it. Now I'm going to end this with one wonderful question from Jorma. How will normal, sane, intelligent U.S. voters view and feel about showing up to vote the GOP to the curb come this November? Will the actual light be shining on the valid facts to bring people out to vote and take a stand to protect, preserve, and defend our Constitution? You betcha. Yes. Yes, but it's each of us that has the responsibility to do this. You know, you got to vote. And if you don't know, if somebody says they're not voting, explain to them the importance of voting. Because I don't care if you don't like Biden, I don't care if you don't like Trump, whatever it is. But you know what's at stake? The Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is what's at stake. And that's where... You have to put any reservations with Biden or any reservations with whatever aside because Alito and Thomas could retire. Trump's in. He'll replace them with somebody in their 40s. And as Brian Taylor Cohen will say, that means we'll have them on the court and that type of reality of MAGA for till we die to this generation. We can't do that to ourselves. So people, do yourself a favor. I've said it a thousand times. Vote 
and vote and vote like your life depends on it. Because the matter is, it does. It really, really does. Unless you want everything taken away from you. I don't think so. They talk about freedoms. Freedom to take away is what their, their freedoms are. So, thanks for stopping by. And don't miss, you know, our predictions here. Stop by again. And please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000. And maybe by the end of summer. We'll see. And uh, please like, share, subscribe, and touch that little, hit the little alarm. Because the new algorithms, I've actually lost some subscribers recently. So just for giggles, just hit the alert. Okay? And leave comments. At the same time, if you're looking for readings, I'm available. You can reach me at www.artheraseyourmind.com. In fact, I've got openings the rest of this week. I think I have some openings definitely to the end of the month. And in the meantime, why don't you go check the video I did with Linda last week about what our predictions were for just the Supreme Court? We gave a lot of predictions for that. So I'll link that show below. And if you don't feel like going there, here's another suggestion for you. Go to my YouTube page. I have a playlist for guided meditations. And there's a wonderful guided meditation, letting go of stress and anxiety. That's right. Letting go of stress and anxiety. You can do it. Let's not walk around with the sort of Danicles out of our head anymore. Let's just know what we're knowing, doing what we're doing. We're moving forward. We're going to win. We're all in this together, people. All right? And above all, take care of yourself. Take care of others. And above all, stay amazing. All right? See you next video. Bye-bye.